I was in a an, in a in a in a in an abusive relationship, um, and what it does is it stop. It makes you forget who you are, mm -hmm. and a part of you does feel like I'm never going to be the same person again. And no matter what I do, I'll always be this weird version of myself that I can. You, you can almost see what you used to be like. You can remember it, you get the feeling, you sometimes mm. act how you used to act. And what, what would you say you used to be like then before that? I used to be less worried about everything, mm. less worried about what people thought of me, less um, worried about how I behaved. I, I just thought I was OK, there was nothing wrong with me. I was quite confident, whereas... Um, I she think... says I was happy-go-lucky. Yeah, you think that's yeah, you, you do. You are, um, uh, well, from, from, from my experience, you... Uh, I say it's a, like a, I was like a teenager and I felt like a teenager till right through my adult years I felt like a normal nothing matters nothing will bother me and I think I really I miss it and a part of me does really begrudge that person for, for taking it away from me because I think someone someone can say something to you over and over again and it does embed how the bravest thing how though you've got out of it and there's not enough people in abusive mm. relationships who actually have the balls to get out of it. But I don't think yeah. it's about having the balls. I think um, these people m manipulate you in a way that makes you feel like that's the norm, norm that's normality. That's what I was going to ask you is how did he er erode your self-confidence? Was it over a period of time Just or was it with remarks? Lots or? of different things. I think, you know, when people were, are happy to sort of wish you dead or tell you your career is nothing or your life is nothing, it, it can be anything, from really small things. It doesn't have to be something huge. It might not even be something that anyone else but around you even notices. It's just as bad, though. Yeah, and, and you don't even realise it's happening to yourself until you realise. <coughs> it's a really funny... Yeah, I was in a relationship... Um, it's in one of my books. He laughed in a relationship. He's thinking, yeah, another one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, it started off like I'd be in the petrol station and they'd be like, are you looking at that guy? Even I wasn't. So I'd have to look straight forward. And then it got to the point where he'd, like, grab me by the neck, push me about, he'd cut my clothes up. And then it got to the point where my mum actually called the police uh, and they had to get involved in it. But I found it hard to get out of it because you sort of lose your friends, you sort of know who you are and you just get into this rut. But then once you're out of it, it's like whew, a sigh of relief, but it's just get, getting out of it. Do it's you ever really, really get out of it, though? Do you ever... Are you ever able to... Because this is why I felt really sad hearing this woman's statement, is that, you know, you feel like you're, ne you're not the same person you were. Someone has physically changed how you approach life, how mm. you talk to people. Do, it, it is sad, because I feel like... How do you ever get back to that person you ever were when... It's interesting because I didn't know this about you until we were talking about it earlier and it put so many things into perspective for me about... How your... crazy I am. No, no, <laughs> no, your, your personality... You know, you're such an amazing woman and you're such an amazing mum and you have such <laughs> low self-confidence. Stop it. No, you do. You have really low self-confidence and, you know, you've talked a lot on the show about anxiety. And I realise now that it probably all stems from that, and that's Don't really, really cry, hard. hold it in. I know, I'm like, Jane, yeah. stop saying nice Sorry, things. No, Don't, be nice. <laughs> Don't be nice to her. Don't be nice to her. No, I'm not going to be nice, because I'm never nice. <laughs> um, I'm just brutal. No, but seriously, I saw how... We all saw how it affected you, and I said it might help you if you just go and see someone for one session just to get it out of you, because it's still in you, and it still upsets you. And, you know, it's been years and whatever, but I do think you should go and see someone, because talking to family and stuff, they've always got an opinion. And if you talk to an outsider, it's just a different perspective. And I think that's what a lot of people do wrong as well. They talk to people close to them, when then people see them come, go, come, go, so they give, like, Sometimes a different... people are just too emotionally attached yes. <coughs> to yeah, you. They can't to, yeah. see it. Oh, yeah. God, or you've, you've actually got to process it. Your... Oh, you've cry. Got to... Just cry. No. no. Get out of <laughs> the system. <laughs> you've got to process no. it yourself, I think, is... is I, I, I can remember... Um, you know, when I was younger, I used to sort of think what, what, what you just said earlier is why don't people just get out of it's abusive not relationships? And then started to interview lots of women that were in that situation and I realised it's not easy because it's a, a work in progress, it wears you down and I remember particularly Cheryl Gascoigne um, spending a lot of time with Cheryl and interviewing her and she used to tell me stories and I would think, she was, used to say to me that 
Paul Gascoigne, this is well documented, when they were together, would time how long it took her to do the school run. And if she wasn't back within that time, she knew that she would be in trouble. And she said, I used to, if I hit a red light, I'd be going like this, looking at my watch and getting anxious about what like would happen. Well, it's it's often, then it happens all the time. I mean, and it's not just men with know. women, it's women do it to men as well. I think if we it, always talk about this if it happens oh, to women, no, it, it happens, happens to men, to men as well. As well. And <laughs> in a way, sometimes it's harder for men because people go, what do you yeah. mean you're being abused by a woman? Don't be so stupid. And so, you know, it's, it's harder to actually be believed. And you don't have to be physically touched for it to be abused. It's like mental abuse is just as bad.